Hello, and here I come to you today with an, another Drupal tutorial. Now, a key thing to realise in the Drupal community is that the drop is always moving. Drupal's always changing, it's always evolving, it's always doing all this stuff to make a Drupal better and not, this is kind of an awful thing to say, but not caring as much about backwards compatibility if if not everything works but if if they know it's what's best for Drupal then they'll then they'll do it. Admin module is a great example of this and that's what I just want to do do a module overview of today. Um to kind of show you how to how to use it. What it does is it makes your site easy to administer by implementing a whole bunch of sweet hacks and um, mainly theming changes it's a module that implements theming changes to to make it your site look on the back end like it does or like it will do in Drupal 7 because what they're really trying to do is make Drupal a lot easier to use so if you want a sort of preview of what kind of thing kind of thing they're working on Drupal 7 um, th then then you you may you may use this but um realize it's not it's not going to be exactly what they're working on in Drupal 7 but it will it will give you a, an idea so that's just what I wanted to show you today here we are at drupal.org slash project slash admin and you can see um, there's a little preview there of um, what the admin interface looks like with the default admin theme that comes with administration menu and this can only be seen on the back end and, and you can see that it's a lot cleaner but there's some stuff that doesn't work it's important to realize that you shouldn't use it on a production site because it's in alpha. Um, it's in alpha five, but um, realize that it's still in alpha, so it shouldn't be used on a production site. Also, realize that it's only available for Dr for Drupal six. It's that kind of going forward drop is always moving idea. So I've just got my demo site here, and as as we notice, we've got the Garland administration theme turned on here, and um, just a basic theme. What we're going to do is first enable our module, and I've dropped it into the site's all modules directory. We go to modules. And then you see under the administration section there's a module called admin. We save that. And it's going to immediately do a lot of stuff. It's going to change our whole administration theme around to the Drupal um, admin module administration theme so you can see how much easier this is we have our we, we have our core um, functionality up here and then the, all these menus down here are divided in subsections we've, we've got nice alerts show, showing the user what's happened we've got nice tabs um, let me show you an example of something that doesn't work yet though um um or at least it didn't in the last version in the last version you couldn't edit blocks and realize this isn't just the theme that's controlling this this is this is the module that's implementing a lot of this stuff as well so you can't just make um 
You can't just make an an administration administration theme and expect to implement all this stuff. What you can do is make you can make an administration theme, but it won't implement all this stuff. And you've got it divided into categories with all drop down boxes. As we can see, all, all the um, functions aren't available yet by far. Um, the mod, the module isn't under the structure section, um, and there's just a lot of stuff wrong with it. But definitely go over to Drupal.org slash project slash admin and give these guys your feedback. They they really want your feedback. Um, and it's just a great way to see kind of the direction it's go, the direction that Drupal 7 is going in. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed.